Before we perform the co-registration and normalization steps in SPM, it's helpful to reset the origin of our anatomical image. The reason for this is because when we warp our anatomical and functional images into a template space, there's a much higher chance of success if they both start out in roughly the same location. To show you this, let's say that this hand right here is my template image that I want to warp to. And this hand right here is my anatomical image. Now, if they start out in roughly the same space, it's pretty easy for them to, through a small series of shifts and transformations, to overlay on top of each other. However, if my anatomical image starts out in a very different location than my template image, then it might only take a few transformations for this to get lost in what's called a local minimum where the normalization procedure thinks it's found a good solution and that they're actually overlaying very well, but in reality, it's not the optimal global solution. To do this in SPM, go to the directory with your anatomical image and click on display. Here, my anatomical image is called anat.nii. Select that and open it up. In the graphics pane, you'll see a display of your anatomical image. Now, the origin of the template spaces is very close to the anterior commissure, both Tallyrac and MNI. Actually, in Tallyrac space, the anterior commissure is the origin. In other words, the coordinates 0, 0, 0. So to do this, we want to find the anterior commissure in our anatomical image. We do this through three separate slices. So here in the sagittal image, look for the termination point of the fornix, this strip of white matter right here. And you can see it terminates into this dot right about here. Click on that. Now for the coronal image, try to find what looks like a mustache. So if these ventricles here are eyes, and this is almost like a mouth, then try to find the mustache right here. on that. And lastly, for the transverse image, look for a thin band of white matter that connects both hemispheres. So right about here. Okay, I'm going to adjust these a little bit. And now that we have that, go ahead and look at these crosshair position coordinates, and specifically this millimeter field. We want to take the opposite of all of these coordinates. So for example, for the first coordinate, since it's negative 1.1, in this field right here, for how much I want to shift it to the right, I would type in positive 1.1. For the second field, I would type in the negative of that second coordinate, which would be negative 34.7. And finally, for the last coordinate, I would take the opposite of negative 19.8, which is positive 19.8. Press Enter. And then within this millimeter field, type in the coordinates 0, 0, 0. The coordinates should default back to the anterior commissure. In other words, now we've set the origin to the anterior commissure, and when we perform the normalization step, it will be much more closely aligned to the origins of MNI or Tallyrac space, whatever we warp to. Once you're done with that, click on Reorient Images, and then select your anatomical image. Click Done. Once you've done that, to make sure that it reoriented appropriately, again type in 000 into these crosshair positions for the millimeters. And again, it should refer back to the anterior commissure. Now that you've done that, you're in a good position to perform your normalization step. Again, since your anatomical image is now closer in space to the template image, it'll take much fewer transformations to perform an accurate overlay between your anatomical image and your template image.